Hey yo, what's going on everybody? It's Tylarius, aka Ty Killington. Yeah, man. Okay, in today's video, I'm giving you guys a quick client job money guide. Alright, it's a tutorial. It's a good little method, it's a nice little process. This is good. This is fun. We've all been asking for this. And now Rockstar has given us triple cash money and RP for the client jobs this week. And with this method I'm about to show you, you'll be able to stack even more money on top of that. All right, so make sure you guys follow the video, watch it all the way through. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel with notifications turned on so you don't miss out on future content just like this, okay? First things first, we need to set up our position. So I want you to call in your terabyte, and then I want you to drive it to this location on the map. Now, once you have it set up right here, this particular location, go ahead and check it out. It's this little median that's on the road right here in Little Soul. It looks like an I. The median is shaped in a lowercase I. Park your terabyte right there. This would be the closest you can get to a couple of the main client job spawn locations, the primary one being diamond shopping. Once you have the terabyte parked in the proper position, then go ahead and register as a CEO. Now, once you do that, I want you guys to go on down to VIP work and the interaction menu. You're going to want to look for the headhunter mission. All right. You'll be focusing on the headhunter mission uh, for the most part with the VIP work in this particular method. So once you finish destroying the fourth and last targets, you'll get paid and you'll roughly be able to make about 20 to 24,000 in under five minutes. All right. Now head on back to your terabyte. And once you're inside the terabyte, what you want to do is you want to kick off one of the client jobs. You want to go ahead and start out with the fan favorite, probably the better one overall, which will be diamond shopping. All right, so load into client jobs. You'll have four different jobs to choose from, robbery and progress, data sweep, targeted data, and diamond shopping. But for this method, we'll be focusing on diamond shopping, targeted data, robbery and progress, and only data sweep if we absolutely have to because that one does take a little bit more time. Now, these are all pretty challenging. Uh, well, I wouldn't say pretty challenging but they have a, a decent amount of challenge so the diamond shopping probably will be the easiest one overall and the quickest so that's why people like to focus on this one so go ahead and start this one off first all right we'll go ahead and knock that out and the reason why we have our terabyte right here is because again this is the closest you can get to this actual job spawn location before it will say that you're too close in the actual terabyte it actually says that if you try and launch the mission you're too close to this particular location so we'll pull up Go ahead and murk out uh, the, the bank van right here. And then proceed to dispatch of the Evangelico security as you see fit. Uh, be careful. These guys pack a punch, all right? You'll have uh, a couple of guards in there, a couple of security, a couple of the bank security. And these guys can definitely murk you out. So be very careful. Pay attention to your health and armor. Uh, this guy in the back was kind of hiding behind that little planter right there. Didn't see him. But yeah, pay attention to what you're doing. It's been a while. It's, it's, you have to kind of you know dust off the rust on some of these missions. <laughs> you haven't done them in a while. Right? So go ahead and pick up the case once you murk out the last guard that has it. And then now we just need to lose the cops and make the delivery. And as you'll see right here, I mean, you can absolutely just cook in these missions. I complete this diamond shopping in less than two minutes. All right? And typically on average, it's about three to five minutes to get this knocked out. But yeah, you can absolutely burn right through this. Just lose the cops real fast. And remember, you'll be getting triple cash money and RP for this week on client jobs. So you'll be making over $90,000. Now, once you're done with your client job, head on over to your agency. And now you're going to start a security contract. This method incorporates uh, not only your client jobs, uh, VIP work, also security contracts. This is going to help out towards your career progress as well. All right, so go ahead and load in here. We'll go ahead and set this up. Pick out, you know, one of the easier ones. Uh, definitely go for either recover valuables or, um, you know, rescue operation or gang termination. Those are pretty quick, pretty easy. Uh, stay away from asset protection. That takes way too much time. But go ahead and knock out. If you can find a recover valuables, uh, you'll be going to either the unicorn or tequila. La. You'll mark out the guys, pick up the, uh, the code, you know, jam out the safe and bring back the loot. You're good to go, right? Bam, introduce myself. Go ahead, pick up the code. Hit the safe, and then we're going to get on back to the agency and get paid. Now, you just rinse and repeat this process. You can either, A, choose to go knock out a headhunter real quick, or you can go right back to your terabyte and hit up another client job. And so you kind of play the cooldown timers against themselves, right? 
because the client jobs, the VIP work and agency security contracts, they all have cooldown timers to them, right? But the, the two cooldown clocks you have to really pay attention to are the client job and the VIP work. So basically with this method, you're playing these missions against each other to burn those clocks up and you're guaranteed to have at least two jobs available at any given time. Now, it may not always be headhunter. You might have to do hostile takeover or sightseer. It may not always be diamond shopping. You may have to do a different uh, you know, client job like robbery in progress or targeted data or maybe even data sleep if it comes down to it. Um, but you know, you'll always have at least one of the, or two of these missions at the same time, and you have a great opportunity per hour to make a lot of money. So go ahead and knock out a Cayo Perico or a Casino Heist solo with a friend. And while you're waiting for that cooldown timer to burn up, you can either build up another heist or just to kind of mix up the monotony of the grind, you can burn some of this right here and just completely make a tremendous amount of money per hour. So you can make easily between, I'd say around 350 to 400,000 per hour with this method right here. And then you stack it with a Kayo if you're just straight solo by yourself. And inside that cooldown timer, you not only build up your next Kayo, but you can also do this. You're making a tremendous amount of money. So definitely, you know, mix up the money grind a little bit this week. Have a good time with it. Keep it fresh. Work on your career progress. And uh, just get filthy rich, man. All right. If you guys got any questions, leave them in the comments down below. Thank you all so much for watching. Make sure you are subscribed to my channel for the illest and realest content in the game. Smash, I mean, smash that like button. We'll see you guys in the next one, right? Peace out. Yeah.